everybody welcome back to my channel today I'm participating again in the look for less challenge host hosted every month by Yami from the Latina next door and her co-host this month is Nicole from the Wicks nest the look for less challenge is about finding a piece of the core uh, something that you like if it's not for you like in this case to make a gift uh, that is out of your budget and recreate it for less money. For this month I chose this basket because I have a baby shower this coming uh, Sunday sorry and uh, I wanted to make a basket for the baby with uh, some baby stuff. So I found this basket that I really like at Ballard Designs but as you can see the price is $99 and I don't know how much for the shipping <laughs> so and I don't want to know so I thought okay let's try to do something similar spending less money so I found these baskets at Dollar Tree of course one dollar I started um, gluing the rope because I don't want to spend time, your time mainly, to waste your time looking at me just gluing and gluing, you know how to do it. I just left the last part to show you some tips. I use this um, cloth, piece of cloth that you find at the cars section that is intended to polish the, the car. And um, I decided that I didn't want the border to be exactly like this one. I wanted the clothes to go over the border. And I also didn't make the handles. I prefer it this way. Especially because it's going to be for baby stuff. So I think that you don't need the handles. I use just one of these uh, car clothes and um, what I did, that this is one tip, I place it at the bottom and uh, extended it on top of the basket and I use these pins to keep this in place because otherwise if you don't do that and start gluing the close to the border of the, the outside border of the basket as I did here. I adhere everything with the hot glue. You are probably going to end up having a, this problem. The, the cloth is going to end here and then you will have to force it. So before start gluing, starting gluing it, it's better to just stretch the cloth, the fabric, and just fold a little bit the border on top of the other one and with the pins keep everything in place. And then you can start gluing as I did here. I'm going to remove the pin. As you can see, I have no problem border with border. Then I glued these parts, the borders of the fabric, with also with uh, hot glue, and I'm going to finish gluing this part. I have my glue gun here. I'm going to protect my finger. I love these silicone fingers. They are great when you're working with the hot glue. So now I'm going to do this part. And that's it. Then 
I am going to finish gluing the rope. In this case I wanted to use the nautical rope from the Dollar Tree. It was not in stores in, in my area. So I waited and waited, I couldn't wait any longer, so I went to Home Depot and I found this one, this manila rope, and it's, I like it, I really like it. I think that I like it better for this kind of um, item than the nautical rope from Dollar Tree. And it's less expensive because you get 50 feet for $8.21. So it's really, really uh, less expensive. So I started adding some hot glue here and there. I need more glue sticks. Here we go. For the first row, I added glue gun all around to keep it in place. The other ones, I started adding just a few dots here and there. Here is the handle, so I will have to place the glue on top of the other row. Okay, now this is finished. It doesn't matter that there are spaces because, you know, it's something that is handmade, so as I always say, it doesn't have to be perfect. Now let's go to the pompons. I couldn't get white pompons like you could see in the original, uh, but uh, I found this, and I'm awful at making yarn pompons. I'm good at making tissue paper and tool pom-poms, but not yarn ones. So I found this garland at Target. It's a banner. I paid, paid $3 for it. The pom-poms are different colors, assorted colors, and they come, as you can see, in a garland. So I removed them from the garland and I'm going to place them all around oh my god <laughs> I'm almost knocking the lumps, the lights and I'm going to place them all around the basket let me choose the front I think this is going to be the front I also have the initial of the name of the baby so I'm going to glue it first I think I'm going to glue it here. I first painted it in baby blue, but I decided that it didn't look good with the white and the, and the rope. So I spray painted it white and I think it looks much better.
I want to apply a lot of hot glue for it to stay in place. So that's what I'm doing here. And mm -hmm. yeah, I think that's the right place. I'm going to try to see if it gets uh, glued. Otherwise, I'm going to try with E6000. But I think it's going to stay there in place. Okay, let's see what am I going to do with the pom-poms. I'm going to place a blue one here. the other blue one here. I'm just eyeballing this. I hope it will look good. <laughs> Is the only green one. Here we go. I think I should have placed these ones a little bit closer to this one, to another one here. But anyways, it's a back side, doesn't, doesn't matter. I really like how it looks right now. It was very easy, it takes a lot, a long, sorry, a lot of time to glue the rope. Other than that, it took me like, I don't know, an hour or so. Other than that, as you could see, everything is so easy and, and quick. And the result, I think, is really, really beautiful. I'm going to place the items. I have these bottles. And I have this teddy bear. So this is how this is going to look. Maybe no, I can't bend. I wanted to bend the hanger, but no, I can't. So I'm going to place this here. I'll try to keep it in place. Thanks to the teddy bear. <laughs> and then I'm going to wrap everything. Oh, I have to move this to the front, to the, the place where the letter is. I'm going to wrap everything with um, cellophane, the one that uh, you can shrink using your blow dryer. And I will add a wonderful, beautiful, big bow. And this is it. And uh, as you can see, it's not exactly like the original, but 
is, I think it's a, a good recreation. And uh, I paid, as I said, eight dollars something, let's say nine dollars. One dollar for the clothes, the fabric, ten. Uh, three, the pompons, thirteen. I have the letter, but I know it's less than one dollar, but let's say one dollar fourteen. And uh, at the mm, glue sticks and whatever else, fifteen dollars. Probably less, but let's say fifteen dollars compared to ninety nine. I'm really happy. <laughs> and I know that my friends, the future parents, are going to be happy too. And I hope the baby will like his basket. <laughs> okay, guys, um, thank you so much for watching. Uh, thanks to both hostesses. I forgot to say this at the beginning. Um, please visit their channels. I always say the same, but it's true. Um, both of them are really creative. Yami also always uh, chooses um, co-hosts that are very, very creative and it's worth to pay a visit to their channels. Also, pay a visit to the playlist. Uh, you are going to find the link to the channels of the hostesses and the playlist uh, with all the videos of all the people who are participating in this challenge uh, in the description box below. Um, so please, please check all those videos and uh, you will find a lot of inspiration and great ideas for a very, very low price. If you like this video, please, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't done it already. Ring the bell so you will get a notification each time I upload a new video, usually on Mondays. And thank you so, so much for watching. And uh, I hope to see you in my next video. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.